Highlander, the 80s fantasy action-adventure tale featuring a historic Scottish setting and immortal warriors locked in a timeless battle for power, is making a grand return with Henry Cavill to star. This reboot has actually been in development for a long time, however, it has now been confirmed that production is moving ahead. In this video, I'd like to briefly recap the world and story of this cult classic and discuss what we know so far about this new attempt to bring the realm of Highlander to the big screen. The original Highlander film premiered in 1986, directed by Russell Mulcahy and written by Gregory Wyden, Peter Bellwood, and Larry Ferguson, with performances by Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery, Roxanne Hart, and Clancy Brown. The story chronicles past and present storylines as the film follows Connor MacLeod, played by Lambert, a Scottish Highlander born in the 16th century whose life takes a dramatic turn after he makes a miraculous recovery from a fatal wound and later learns of his true nature as an immortal being and the destiny for all such immortals to battle each other for the ultimate prize. In the end, there can be only one. Humanity itself hangs in the balance of this epic clash between good and evil. Upon its debut, the film faced a barrage of criticism and underwhelmed at the box office, garnering only $12 million globally against a hefty $19 million production budget. At first glance, it seemed destined to be relegated to the annals of cinematic misfires, yet in the wake of its initial reception, the movie's story and its unforgettable soundtrack, notably graced by the iconic songs of Queen, began to strike a chord with a devoted audience. Over the years, this fervent appreciation has only deepened, transforming the film from a perceived misstep into a cherished cult classic. A significant testament to its lasting impact is its enduring presence in pop culture. The phrase, there can be only one, is instantly recognizable to many, even those who haven't seen the film. Such a resounding echo led to a flurry of activity in the Highlander universe, including multiple sequels and television adaptations, further solidifying its position in cinematic history. In an exclusive by Deadline, Lionsgate is now set to reintroduce the Highlander franchise with a reboot, starring Henry Cavill as the iconic Scottish swordsman. Directed by Chad Stahelski of the John Wick series, the movie boasts a budget of over $100 million, with an intended production launch date set for 2024. Due to the original's cult classic status, the reboot has already garnered significant attention, Producers for the film include Joshua Davis, Neil H. Moritz, Stahelski through his 8711 Entertainment, and Luis Rosner with a screenplay draft by Mike Finch. This news stands out as a major highlight for the American film market, especially in light of challenges posed by the recent sag aftra strike. In the seemingly endless wave of reboots flooding the cinematic landscape, the Highlander universe now teeters on the precipice of its own so-called revival. Given the spotty track record of reboots, many fans are no doubt skeptical as to whether we can genuinely expect this resurrection to be both faithful to its origins and resonant with mainstream audiences. It's a tall order to fill, and past experiences have made many wary. In an age where nostalgia is exploited for quick cash grabs, it remains to be seen if this Highlander reboot will rise above the fray or merely join the ranks of forgettable remakes. This project has been lingering in the development pipeline for some time now, and Lionsgate, perhaps sensing an opportunity or maybe just attempting to capitalize on the current climate, has chosen to initiate sales for this much-discussed film at the American film market. It's noteworthy that this year's AFM is grappling with the repercussions of the sag after strike, leading to a noticeable scarcity in the usually bustling roster of pre-sale projects. Under these conditions, while the Highlander announcement is being touted as a promising development, it might be met with a touch of skepticism by veteran AFM buyers who have seen their fair share of nostalgia plays. Henry Cavill's involvement is a benefit for the film, not just because of his on-screen magnetism, he also carries with him a vast and passionate fanbase that significantly amplifies the project's allure. For some, what will work in the film's favor is Cavill's history of voicing his opinions on projects he's involved in, emphasizing a consistent desire for modern adaptations to respect and honor the source material. 
The direction of this promising venture will be in the capable hands of Chad Stahelski, the brilliant mind responsible for the meteoric success of the John Wick franchise. Stahelski's participation gives a tantalizing hint at what audiences can expect from the movie's tone and texture. He's even gone on record to describe the upcoming Highlander as bearing a similar resemblance to John Wick, but with swords. Such a comparison sets the stage for what could be heart-racing, adrenaline-pumping sequences that promise to keep viewers riveted. This project is also setting the stage with an impressive budget, rumored to exceed $100 million. The script has also been crafted by Mike Finch, which aims to interweave elements from both the iconic movies and the beloved TV shows that make up the expansive Highlander universe. The film's director has dropped hints about the movie's direction, suggesting a story that seamlessly blends components from the TV series, particularly laying the groundwork for The Gathering. In the Highlander universe, The Gathering is a central event. It refers to a time when all immortals who remain are drawn together to fight to the death until only one is left standing. As mentioned previously, this remaining immortal will claim the prize, which bestows the knowledge and power of all immortals who have ever lived. The notion of the gathering is central to the conflict and drama of the series, as immortals live their long lives knowing that they will eventually be drawn into this climactic battle. This approach not only pays homage to the franchise's history, but also cleverly paves the way for possible sequels, opening up a universe of narrative possibilities. Given Stahelski's knack for intense action sequences, evident from his John Wick series, and Cavill's proven metal in action roles, fans can anticipate a visual spectacle. Considering the original Highlander franchise's legacy, comprising five films, three TV series, and an array of other media adaptations, the reboot carries substantial expectations. However, with an established actor like Cavill, who Stahelski claims was always the top choice, and a proven director in Stahelski at the forefront, the reboot looks to be in capable hands, giving reason for some to maintain a level of cautious optimism. But I'm curious to know what you think of this news. Considering everything we know so far, are you hopeful or pessimistic about this upcoming reboot? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.